Today I'm going to have a putter fitting here at Scottsdale Golfing Warrington in their Fit Build and Play Centre. We're going to use the Sam Put Lab technology and we're going to see if I end up with a new flat stick in my bag. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. Okay, so I'm back at Scottsdale Golf at their Fit Build and Play Centre in Warring, so I'm here with Liam Hunt. I'm going to have a putter fit in today. Hi Liam, how's it going? I'm very well, thanks Paul. Welcome back. Thank you, thanks for having me back. I'm really excited about this. I love putting, and statistically this is the best part of my game. I always feel there's a bit more I can get out of my game, so okay. what are we going to do today? So, what we're going to do is look, first of all, at your two current putters that yep. you're using. Alright, so we'll get a bit of a baseline reading on those see how they perform, see what sort of numbers we're getting from those, see what sort of tendencies we're seeing, your misses, how, how, you, know, how you set up to the ball, you know, how you strike it, things like that. So look at all the, all the, all the numbers and then we'll use the sample lab to, to analyse your stroke um, and then we'll go from there and see, see what Brilliant. we can do. I'm so ex excited about the sample technology and we'll talk about that as we go through. Yeah. As viewers of the show know, I'm quite partial to a putter and they don't tend to stay in my bag for too long, but I think that's because I've never really been fitted properly. Okay. Uh, you know, we used to put us so much. How many golfers do you think have had putter fittings? It's got to be a low percentage. It is, compared to, yeah, a lot more players, I would say, would have iron fittings or driver yeah. fittings than, than putter fittings, yeah. Um, it's, at the end of the day, it's the club that you use most. Yeah. So, arguably, it should be the first club you should have, put, you know, fitted. Of course, yeah, of course. Um, And there's just so many variables with, with putters these days. Um, Absolutely, just looking at the range you've got there, yeah. you could, the, the, they all look completely different, which is really interesting. I'm mm. really open-minded today. Okay. Whatever gets the job done, Good. I'm going to go for, I think. Um, yeah. So, that's really cool. And obviously, you've got the facility here. Are you starting to see a trend of more people getting putter fitted? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. There's just so many varieties these days, you know, of different brands, different feels, looks, uh, different technologies, you know, a lot of shaft technology is coming into yeah. the putter industry and a lot of people are sort of uh, quite interested in that and you see it on tour, a lot of players are starting to, to do that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, anything to improve your and, putting, and you know, it, it's put putters aren't huge. cheap nowadays, are they? They're catching up to driving. Yes. Because of all the technology you're saying, like shaft, shaft technology and putters is going to be massive going forward, I think. Yeah. So it's a no-brainer if you're spending that kind of money to come somewhere like this and get fitted, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. You know, we saw a bit of a trend of the, of the, of the putter grip, I suppose, yeah, in the yeah, last yeah. sort of five, ten years. That's really taken off. Um, obviously, companies like Superstroke, you see them all the time on a lot of, again, a lot of tour products, a lot of guys playing with Superstrokes. Um, yeah, so the grip, the grip industry has really changed putters yep. quite a lot, um, and now we're seeing the shaft sort of come into that. Um, but yeah, you've got options in terms of lots of different brands that we offer. You know, the the, the sort of the most popular putter range we're seeing at the moment. A lot of people coming in are interested in lab lab yeah, golf, yeah. Uh, which obviously Lucas Glover has has, has used yeah. recently to good effect and, and really helped his game. And obviously he's won won a couple of tournaments. Adam Scott's uh, using one, and yeah, quite a lot of players now are sort of into sort of looking at those guys and thinking, well, oh, what's this? Shall I try this? So yeah, it, that that's getting a lot of interest I'm, at the I'm moment. I'm super excited. It was like Christmas Eve in my house last night. So let's get going. <laughs> Where do you want me to start? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start off with your game of what you're using at the yep. moment, which is your, your Scotty Cameron mallet. Yep. So, yeah, so we're going to put the uh, triplet on there. Yep. All right, get some data on that. I say we're going to hit 10 puts. We're going to go to that hole just on the left-hand yep. side and we'll get set up. So this is just going to add a little bit of weight to the putter. Okay. All right. So I'll just get that put on there first of all. Thank you. So I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions sort of yep. about your, your putting really as a general. Yep. So you said it earlier that it's arguably the strongest part of your game, would you yeah, say? Yeah, I track my stats with draw more circles and arcos. Okay. Um, I'm trying to compare to a scratch golfer. I'm off six. Um, I'm losing four and a bit shots around off, off the tee, unfortunately. Okay. Um, but I'm, gaming, I'm gaining um, a shot around on a scratch golf and my putting, especially from long distances, 20 foot and in, is kind of my, my superpower. Okay. Um, I'd like to make a few more from around the sort of 10 foot mark. Okay. Um, any sort of 
sort of tendency of, of misses? Do you see... With, with the mallet, yeah. a bit of a shove to the right. Okay. With the blade, a bit of a shove to the left. Okay, no problem. Starting with a Scotty Cameron Phantom X 11.5, yep. 34 in length. Yep. And a little bit of toe hanging there, all right? Yep. So what we'll do first yep. is just calibrate the putter okay. to the machine. So all I want you to do is just rest the putter up against this little uh, piece of metal here. So you're just going to line this line up with this one, all right? Get that nice and square. That's lovely. Okay, right. So, five putts. Yeah. Well, we're going to hit ten. We'll start with the five first. Yeah. We're just going to pop the ball on that white dot each yeah. time. What I'd like you to do, Paul, is just go through your complete, your natural routine, okay? okay? So you just do what you normally do. If you line the ball up, do that. Okay. And just, yeah, take your time. Okay. All right. There is a slight break to the left when it gets to the hole, ever so slightly. But for the for the purpose of the of the fitting, I'd like you to just continue to aim at the centre of the hole. If it goes in at the right pace, it will hold its line. Good. Okay, last one we missed right. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have a look at the report now. We're going to look at this report and it breaks it down into eight sections. Okay. Yeah. So to the first um, page that we see is a, a data summary. So it gives us a, a yeah. brief summary of your putting stroke. It breaks it down into four sections yeah. your tendency, your timing, consistency, and then your overall performance. Yeah. So I'll describe and uh, explain what these yeah. are. So your tendency is basically how you tend to aim the putter. Okay. All right. Um, where the putter is returning to impact, yep. uh, what sort of uh, path we're looking at in terms of the, the, the putter, where we're striking it on the face. Uh, then we look at the timing aspect, so that's the duration of your stroke, yep. um, your sort of rhythm of your, of your stroke, which is the highest of the, of the four sections there. It's higher and better. Yes, if we if we see things in the green, yep. that's that's where we want to be. So it gives us a, a, basically a traffic yep. light system, a red, okay, yep. yellow, or yeah, amber, and okay. then a, and then a green. So uh, to to get into the green, we need to be in seventy five okay. above. Okay, and then the next uh, one we've got is consistency, which is yep. basically yeah, how consistent you are at doing these two aspects here. Basically, I think the last five I was getting a bit more used to that extra weight. Yeah, it takes a little, bit of, a little bit. Of yeah, a yeah. couple of couple of shots to, to get used to it. So the next side we see is the aim, yep. which is um, left. Yeah. Okay. So close to target. So that, that's at address. That's at address okay. before we take the putter away. So that's on average. Okay. So yep. three point six degrees closed. Wow. Okay. And then we see a phase change of three degrees. Okay. So, so I'm compensating for the close by. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So when okay. we look at the next slide here, yeah. your actual putter's coming in at 0 0.6 degrees closed. And so is 0 0 0.6 doesn't sound very much. How, how is that? Is that, is that bad? Uh, it's okay. I mean, um, we've got it, it's in red. Yes. Yeah, so we're in the red. Um, there's a little bit of inconsistency. Of, of it so there's a you know to start off with we were in the negative and then after the sort of the, the first five puts we started to get more of the, okay. the positive to the right yeah. so it did change throughout the, the stroke a little bit but what it caused causes is your, your your direction of the ball yeah. wants to start left okay okay so combined with a path as well that's 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 contributing to this so the ball direction is on average wants to start 1.5 right. degrees to the left yeah. so from a you know this sort of range here yeah we're going to struggle to, to, to that, get that, that to me says the using the line might help me then if i'm missing by that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah absolutely potentially so yeah um so we're seeing a, a phase change of three degrees yeah okay um, we're seeing a path direction generally to the left as well, 5.6. Yeah. And that, 
it's fairly consistent. Yeah. So we're seeing a 53% consistency there. So it's something that you do. Yeah, I mean, I am, I'm very left eye dominant. My right eye is not great. Okay. In fact, I had an eye test yesterday and it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have to start playing golf with glasses too. Yeah. So that could be something to do with something, that. Something, yeah, absolutely. We do get guys that, you know, you do see differences with dominance of Interesting, eye. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then we'll look at the face to path relationship. So the face is very open yeah. to the path. Because we're seeing a 5.7 degree, yeah. Uh, path yeah. impact there if your face was square to this yeah. path you would be missing the golf ball even further left right. so it's a subconscious kind effort of, of slicing my putts in a way yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 interesting putting across interesting. it a little bit so yeah it's uh That's it's brilliant. to the left generally everything's left 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 i mean I'm, i've been as i say the, the putting's been going i think it's one of the best parts of my game but mm -hmm. it's interesting to see so many ambers and reds which shows there's a lot of room for improvement there. yeah there is absolutely and then now we're going to look at the path and the spot um, of, 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 of the putter. So yeah. this is looking at a top view of your, of your yeah. path. Okay, so bird's eye view. So the black dot is basically where the golf ball is. Yeah. All right. And we see quite a short backstroke. Okay. And quite a long follow through Interesting, yeah. as well. And we also see the putter tends to want to drift outside the line that's right so so that would be the the extent of the backstroke on that one Correct, and that's the yeah. follow through okay interesting okay what? so the ratio is quite small yeah as well of, of, of backstroke to to, to, yeah. to forward stroke so that's something uh, that we need to look at but we have got a green we have got a, a very good green a 92 percent so okay. it's something that you do all yeah. the time okay so I, I, that's I not do, a I bad do, thing I, I do it badly consistently yeah <laughs> <laughs> Most putters, that's generally what they do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we look at the um, your, 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 your basically your impact on the face, which yeah. is, is is very good. Yeah. Okay. So we're seeing a nice central strike, slightly high. Okay. On the face, a little bit high. That's interesting. I've never thought. Of, I mean, with a with a drive, obviously you're trying to get out of the sweet spot. So, mm -hmm. and for me, the sweet spot on a putter would be somewhere across the middle of it, yeah. but not not necessarily across the the height of it and depth. I've never thought about that. Yeah. So this this is impacted by your your rise angle, how yeah, much you yeah. rise up through the put, where your ball position is located in your stance, and things like that. Because I, I think one of my whilst we talk about directional misses, as an amateur, leaving it short, I'm more likely to miss one six inches short than six inches long. Okay. So that that could be yeah. something like that. When I was watching your stroke and watching the ball going towards the hole, it looks like you want to die the ball in the hole. Yeah, you that's, don't want to get that that that's my tendency. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Everyone's got a preference yeah. and a tendency. It depends on the type of courses you yeah, play. Yeah. If you're generally playing on pretty qu quick greens, yeah. then yeah, yeah. You, you don't really want to race it for five sure, six yeah, feet yeah. past. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, path direction. We're 5.7 to the left, but pretty consistent at doing that. Yeah. And then the path arc is, is quite reduced. Okay. Yeah. So we're not seeing a lot of, of arc in the path. So um, does that mean that I'm more of a straight back and through kind of guy? Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. So then we look at face rotation. Okay. Yeah. So we look at um, what the putter's doing around impact. We look at it at the start of the forward swing and then the end of the forward swing. So. Um, there is some rotation, there's minimum going back. There's not a lot going back, but there is quite a lot going forward. So the good thing we're yeah. seeing 10 centimeters before and after, we're yeah. seeing a quite a consistent yeah. um, closing pattern here from one side to the other. And yeah. um, the less, you know, the lower this number, the better really yeah. for okay. us. So the less you, you're right. having to manipulate that putter through impact to, to square it up. So pretty good. They're all in the, in the areas we want to see. So yeah. quite happy with that. Then we look at the face rotation relative to the path, yeah. okay? So your tendency is red, which is yeah. open. Okay. So every single step throughout your putting stroke, 10 centimeters before and after, your putter is open to your path. Interesting. So we know that your path works about five to six degrees left. So it kind of has to be open. Yeah. If it wasn't, you would not, Been you would miss really Missing the green left, yeah, yeah, the flag, yeah. Missing things a lot to the left, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, so the, the, the actual rotatory symmetry yeah. here is showing us that it's a slight push off okay. the putter face, okay? And your smoothness of your stroke is very good as well. So you've, okay. even though you've got quite a short backstroke, you're actually quite smooth. Quite fluid. Going through, okay, going great, through. excellent. So pretty good there, all right? Then this is a really, really important aspect of putting. Um, this is the, the basically the, the launch characteristics of your, of your putter and, and, and you as a, as a golfer. Yeah. So this shows us, uh, first of all, a side view, which 
basically shows me uh, where your low point is in your putting stroke yeah. um, and how much you're rising up through the putting stroke. Yeah. So your rise angle on average is 2.2 degrees, yeah. which is in a good place. We want to see something between 2 to 4 degrees. Yeah. So okay. you want to be hitting up on the putt. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We want to give that golf ball the best chance of enabling yeah. it to have as, as much top spin as possible. Yeah or reducing back sure. spin, okay? Um, but what we see at impact is your shaft, you like to add a little bit of loft, okay? Okay. So the putter is basically being returned with more loft on than you are set up, yeah. okay? By 1.8 degrees, yeah. which is effectively changing the loft of your putter. Yeah. So we know that your putter is a three, three and a half degree loft. That's putter. making it a five degree putter. Essentially, yeah, which is then causing your launch angle, your predicted launch to be a little bit on the high side at yeah. 4.7 degrees. Hence leaving put short. Potentially, yes. And it's also creating a predictive backspin as well. So it's not, well, wow. um, it's not giving that ball the best chance of getting to the hole. It's, it's what it's going to do is make that ball pop off the face yeah. and then it will start to skid in its journey towards the hole. And then eventually it will start Interesting, rolling. Because when my, when my son puts, um, he's got a long putt okay. from the naked eye, you can see it taking off, off for the first half a yard. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So it, it, in theory, the harder you hit this putter, the, the higher that predicted launch is probably wow. going to go. So obviously on a long range putt, yeah, you're going to yeah. struggle to get the ball to the hole and particularly if you've, you know, you're going up a slope or something like that. So that's something that we need to, to, to look at. Uh, that can be a setup change. That can be, we alter the putter's loft. So we yeah. take loft off yeah. the putter, things like that yeah. we can do to help with that. Wow. Then we look at the, the dynamics of your stroke. So this is showing us the sort of the duration of your stroke and the sort of timing of your of your stroke, yeah. uh, which is good. We're seeing green, okay, which is a, a good thing. So, a pretty consistent speed throughout the, the ten puts that we hit. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm seeing pretty good yeah. things here. So your backswing time is, yeah. is pretty good, bang in the middle, and then your forward swing time is pretty good cool. as well. So pretty happy with that. Rhythm wise. Um, Slightly slow on the backswing, yep. even though it's a little bit on the short side, okay? And then coming into impact, we're seeing a, a little bit of an early um, okay. early impact, Interesting. but pretty consistent at doing that as well, okay. so, okay. Um, yeah, so pretty good there. Excellent. Then we look at the plane that you swing that golf club on, that, that putter. Yeah. So at the moment, it's got a little bit of a tilt angle on there. Um, so, the low point's pretty good, quite consistent before the golf ball. Yeah. Um, direction, obviously, we know is to the left. So there's a couple of things in here that potentially we, we might look at changing yeah. in terms of setup. Okay. All right. So lie angle um, of the putter is going to help us, uh, allow us to do that. Um, then we look at the shaft plane. So how much the shaft is pivoting. All right. Um, and then we look at the sort of the rotation here of the shaft. Uh, and the relationship of shaft on the path as well. So we're seeing again lots of good green numbers, quite high numbers in the 90s yeah. here. Um, and we know that your tendency is to just add a little bit yeah. of, of loft Interesting. here. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. All right. This is fantastic. Yeah. So that's 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 the the, the breakdown of your putting yeah. stroke. So that's with your mallet. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is go through and and do it the same test with your blade. Okay. Great. Okay. Which as we as we discussed a little bit earlier, which is quite different yep. to uh, what this, this putter is. So, okay. so again, we'll just calibrate the putter to the machine. Yep. Okay, so we'll just slide this back out again. You just pop your face up on there, nice and square. Good. That one's right out the tail. Oh gosh. Trying not to sort of change anything deliberately, Good. but yep. I think with you saying I was aiming left with the others, you're always going to have a subconscious. You, you, you're subconsciously yeah. doing yeah. that, yeah. But uh... okay. Good. <sighs> okay. What do you think would be the make percentage on tour from that distance? I think what from. 
as a percentage? I think, so what we've got here, 10 foot? Yeah, roughly, just maybe, yeah, a touch longer. 40%? 25. 25, okay. Obviously, it's not a flat foot. Sure, yeah, yeah, time, yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. 25, which yeah, surprises a lot of golfers when I tell yeah. them that. I know it's about 50% from about 8 feet, yeah, but I guess just changes tempted. massively when you start wow. getting, you know. A, a and my, my stats goal. are saying this is a, a distance I need to get better at. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so again, we'll look at the, 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 the putter yeah. here. Liam then took me through the full set of stats for the Scotty Blade, which I won't include here to keep the episode that little bit shorter. It performed slightly better, however, he came up with one big conclusion. Yeah, so they're both doing very different things. They're both literally opposite yeah. what they're doing. That's incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and we were going about people that have putter fittings. You know, I've got, what, seven, eight hundred quid worth of putters there. Yeah, yeah. And neither are doing the job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> we're, not, we're not. If we can find somewhere in the middle. Yeah, we're laughing. We're, we're in a good place. We want to get that thing rotating top spin if we can or a, a and little bit more. And is the back going to make it skid in the early absolutely, part of the putt? Absolutely, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's going to Interesting. get that ball jumping off the face and yeah. then skidding and then if you're not playing on particularly good greens that ball's just going to bounce like this all over okay, the place. Okay, interesting. It gives us a, a good sort of reference and yeah. indication of what we need to look at. Um, I've got a couple of things in mind yeah. that I want to I want to try you in. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we will see what we can do. Um, I think there might be a couple of setup things that we could look at as okay, well. Okay, great, perfect. To help um, improve launch um, yeah. and things like that. Brilliant. But on the whole, your yeah. setup's pretty good. Okay. You know, your eye line's in a good place. Right. You, you've got a nice sort of uh, relationship to the shaft to your arms. Okay. You know, you've got, you're actually in a quite a nice yeah. position here. Uh, you stand very square, neutral, okay. your shoulders and your, and your knees yep. and your hips are all pointing where they should be. Yep. So we're not got a, a setup issue yep. with direction there. You do tend to aim the putter left. Yep. Um, so that's something that I would look at, you know, trying to improve on yep. going forward. So i.e. potentially yeah, you know, yep. using a line on the golf ball might might be uh, something that would help. I wouldn't maybe suggest it doing it on the long range putt. Yep. Because you, you said before that you're quite, that's sort of your strength, yeah. maybe from this sort of distance in. Interesting. Try it. Yeah. yeah. Just see. Um, see if it helps. Um, yeah. Excellent. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do is pick out um, a couple of different options to try. Yeah. And then we'll pop them on the device and uh, give them a go. So first thing I want to give you is something to help you launch yep. a little bit. So I'm going to give you a putter. Uh, well, a, a brand of putter that we're seeing a lot of interest in at the moment, yep. which is the Lab, okay. lab Golf. Yeah, putters. really excited to try it. Okay. okay, so I'm going to put you in a mallet to start with, yep. all right? So there's a couple of different designs. There's, there's three that we have available to look at today. Okay. Yep. Um, the original putter what lab, lab introduced, which yeah. is the directed force, so, yeah. but it's quite, quite a beast. It is, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a big putter, so not everybody's sort of cup of tea. So I'm going to leave that one for now yep. and give you uh, one of the Mez putters. So again, these come in two different sizes. So you've got the Mez and then you've got the Mez Max. So this is the Mez one and okay. then the Mez Max is this one, which is a slightly bigger bigger head, a bigger, bigger profile, yeah. okay? So I'm gonna start with the, this one, the Mez yeah. one, all right, to begin with. And we're gonna test that and see what we can do. Okay. So we've got a couple of different length options. Uh, we're gonna continue with 34, yeah. which is what you're currently using. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna test this one out and see what Great. we can, can do. Can you show me the grip on that one? Yeah, so this is- Interesting grip. Something that, a technology that they've, they've had on their putters for a while now, which is the forward press grip. So essentially what it does is the shaft will go into the grip at an angle. Yeah. Okay. And what this is going to promote is it's going to encourage the golfer to want to feel like they're, they're hitting up on the putter okay. a little bit more to, to try and promote that really nice topspin roll. So the shaft is, is slightly back of the face. It's yeah. centered. Uh, and then we have a nice sight line in the center here. Um, but yeah, they, they are very interesting. They yep. feel great. So yep. a lot of people think that they're going to feel quite firm, yep. but they are quite soft. Um, yeah. So, and a nice sort of weighted putter that they're Perfect. on the heavier side of putters. Okay. As well. Let's give it a go. All right. So we'll try it. We'll see, see what we get. Okay. So we're going to look at this little bit of kit here, which yep. is called a revealer, which Lab Golf uh, provide to us. Um, so what it demonstrates is how much torque we see okay. in, in the putter. 
something that a lot of companies are looking at these days. That's why the shaft industry is, is, is sort of up to its game in the putter industry, yeah. in the putter sort of club um, side of things. So what I'm going to do is put your putter in here, which is your mallet, yeah. your Scotty mallet, okay? And what it's going to show us is basically how stable the putter is and how okay. much sort of twisting we're seeing. So okay. naturally, when you put a lot of putters in these, they want to just open straight yep. away, okay? And then if I swing this putter back and forward, so I'll make it sit flat now, and then I, I take it back and forward. Oh my word. The putter is rotating a lot, okay? So when we put a lab putter in there, in there again if we just let go of the putter it wants to just stay very neutral yeah. and then when we take the putter back and forward it does not want to twist and, and why is the lab not twisting whereas the other one was yeah so lie angle balance technology so is, is that what lab stands for yeah basically yeah so the way the putter's weighted and the way it's designed so it loves to rotate in these devices like so sure so it can, it can twist and move, but the idea is, yes, so that the face is essentially not twisting. So we're not going to see any of this, 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 this motion going on. So it's going to create more stability, and, essentially. And so why has nobody thought of this before? Because this looks yeah. really obvious. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's, yeah. it's amazing, to be honest. There is, there is companies looking into it. So Axis is one yeah. of them. Um, that uh, Justin Rose uses. Odyssey are pretty good at it. Um, Seymour have, have done some good putters yeah. over the years which yeah. have, have, have tried to reduce torque. So essentially what it's going to do is if we strike that ball slightly off-centred on the putter face, which yeah. we do, yeah. um, it's not going to want to twist that putter face. It's so going to keep it as square as possible interesting. to allow the speed of the ball to be as consistent and allow you to get the ball to the hole and hold more putts. Fantastic. All right. right. So we're going to put the, the device on here, the triplet, yep. and see what we get. So again, just line it up nice and square to, to that. That's it. I like the visual of that. Mm -hmm. I like the black and the grey, like that line coming from there. I knew that was in as soon as I hit it. Good. I mean, it is, a, fun it is a funky design. I, you know, I mean, the Scotties are beautiful, your yeah. tailor made the Betonard is. I was kind of hoping I might be leaving one of those, to be <laughs> honest, because they just look stunning. We, we, we might venture into those, oh, okay. but I, I wanted to put this in your hands first. Yeah. Because, yeah, it is different. I like um, it. People sort of do say that straight away, first thing they say. Yeah. That was a great strike. I'll hit the ground there. Go, 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 go. Oh, there we go, never in doubt. With each one of those, you know, my, my backswing tendency is, is the loop, as we Correct, said. Yeah. And I think we'll see that I still did that on a lot of those, mm -hmm. but it felt really good at impact. Yeah. Felt really good. Yeah, we've still seen pretty similar things. So we, I'm still seeing you aim a little bit to the left. Okay. Uh, putter comes a little bit outside, but yeah. what, what's happening is the putter's been delivered back to impact different. Okay. Um, the ball is, looks like it's rolling better to me yep. off the face and the direction it wants to start in. He's up. I couldn't believe how simple it was. It sort of just... This could be a really short episode now. It could be now. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're done, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a bit of a funky backswing, but it's still in. Then, that one. Stop it, really. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> How, did we miss one or two, was it? One, 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 I think I think one, yeah, yeah. one out of ten, yeah. Which was something completely new, completely different, completely alien in shape. Wow. Okay, shall we see what the results show us? Yes, the please. data summary here is pretty similar to what we saw earlier. In fact, your timing is reduced. Everything yeah. else has stayed pretty similar, quite, fairly consistent, yeah. you know, in the sort of high 90s, low 60s. 
And then we are still seeing you you aim the putter um, yeah. left, yeah. 3.2 degrees left. So that's something you do as a golfer, yeah. okay? Your tendency at the moment, and that's something to, to look at going yeah. forward to change and, and work on. Um, but what we are seeing, the face change is 3.5 degrees opening again. Yeah. So your putter is being delivered back to impact more square. Yeah. All right. So you'll it see felt it. like that, as I said, on a couple of the strokes, I felt it gave it a big out to in loop, which is my, my tendency. Yeah. But at impact, it just felt every sign was, was That's bang on. That's kind of what it's all about, really. Yeah. There's a lot of golfers out there, a lot of tour professionals, very, very good putters that they know they have a tendency to aim in a certain direction or the path is working in a certain direction, yeah. but it's what the putter's doing at impact. Yeah. I mean, the ball doesn't care about your exactly. backswing, does it? Exactly. It's, yeah. what, it's all about impact, okay? Yeah. So we're seeing the, the face being delivered uh, a little bit more square now, so we're 0 0.3 degrees open on average, yeah. but we're seeing a very nice tight grouping there yeah. as well. All right, so the ball direction this time is 0 0.7 to the left. Yeah. All right, so we're getting closer and closer. Yeah. We did have a couple to the left that have, yeah. have, 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 have sort of exaggerated sure, this number. Yeah. If we took them out, yeah. your, your start line would be the median's really, pretty really good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Um, path is still still left, yep. 5.6, so pretty identical to your mallet yep. putter before, um, but this time because of the face, yep. the way it's been delivered, the ball directions are a lot better. Um, again, ratio-wise, very similar. So yeah, that again, that's a tendency as you as a golfer. Um, I would rather see somebody with a shorter backswing yep. because you have more chance of you're not going to decelerate. I think basically. I was long and wafty and decelerated, yeah. which is why the, my, my, my pro guy got me yeah. got I me doing that. It helps with the acceleration, yeah. and that is such a key thing yeah. in pretty much any golf shot. And, and with the stats, and with the stats with putting, I mean, we're, we're just holding, we're just aiming at 12 foot putts here. So I guess there's the parameters are, are, are pretty tight anyway. It's not like trying to hit a driver 280 yards where yeah. I might go Cobra, Ping, Taylor Made, and there could be going a, a massive dispersion. I guess yeah. here it's, it's an, you're working with a narrow yeah, a parameter of margin. data. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then the putter itself is yeah. sitting a little bit more, uh, a little bit toe down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so ever so slightly, 0 0.9 degrees, so about one degree down. Strike again. It's very good. This is something I've, I've noticed, Paul. Yeah. With your 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 putting is that you strike the ball very very well um, very consistent tight spots yep. and you tend to strike a little bit high on the face okay, okay? Um, but it's it, it's really important if you strike in the ball in the middle of the face pretty you know 99% yeah. of the time the ball is going to come off that face at a, a, a nice consistent yep. speed yeah, um, which is really really important yep. okay um, so then we'll look at the the face rotation Okay, so yep. this is something that has, has changed. So, a uh, little bit less consistent with the face rotation. We're still seeing a very open face yep. relative to the path. Um, and we're still seeing a slight push yep. uh, and a pretty consistent smoothness of the stroke. Mm. So, that stayed pretty similar. I think this is where you're going to see a big jump now, is, yep. is the launch characteristics. So we are slightly rising up less. Yeah. Okay, so we're, this time we're a little bit on the lower side. So we're 0 0.9 degrees up. Um, you're not adding loft now. Okay. You are delivering the putter with a better loft here. Great. So you're actually slightly de-lofting yep. 0 0.2 degrees. Uh, which is effectively bringing the predictive launch down into yeah. a better window at 2.8 degrees. Yeah. Uh, the, the spin on the golf ball is still predicted to be backspin. Yeah. So that is something uh, that we, we we will look at as well. Yeah. Uh, but pretty consistent here with uh, with how right. where, how you're delivering it. Um, and you know, it's, I've never swung anything like that before, so no. it's, it's getting used to it. You know, once you've had something like that for a, yes. a month or two in the bag. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, then we look at the dynamics again, which is very good, all in the green. Uh, speed consistency dropped a little bit, um, but this time, yeah, we, uh, we, we're pretty similar to where we were before. Yep. It's a little bit earlier on impact time in here, so that's yep. the only thing. Um, this is different, yep. very different now. So the swing plane is a lot more upright, okay? So the tilt angle is at 5.3 degrees now. So we, we have shifted this up quite a lot. Um, 
so the vertical arc has changed. Yeah. All right. So the next page we'll look at is the shaft plane. Oh, some good numbers. Again, which some is really good, there, some really, really yeah. good numbers. Okay. So if you were to look at those two reports and didn't know which putter was which, yeah. you would say that the earlier reports with your putter yeah. were slightly better yeah. in some ways, and this is better in other ways, but you hold nine out of 10 puts. Yeah. Okay. Can't, so, argue with, can't argue that. Can't really, can argue you? with yeah. that a little bit. Yeah. So it's helping your tendencies yeah. um, you, to deliver that putter back to impact as it needs to be. Um, and I think that's really important because I've played golf for uh, over 30 years, 35 okay. years. And I'm having lessons and trying to do stuff to get better. Yeah. But that's going to help. But I'm always going to have, I've I, I realised now, you know, I'm always going to have certain tendencies. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to draw the ball in my life, yeah. you know. And I, I think where I'm at now is obviously I'll carry on with the lessons and all the coaching, but the equipment has just got to really, really help me get, yeah. get the most out of my game. Absolutely. It's got to allow you to sort of just play the best you can. Yeah. Uh, we all have, yeah, we all have preferences as a golfer and yeah. we all have I wouldn't say a fault but a yeah. characteristic of, yeah. of golf yeah. you know so we've got quite a few characteristics yeah, in my game absolutely <laughs> and it, that's the fun of it I suppose yeah, I, yeah. you know from a coaching point of view that's yeah. what I, I see lots of different players with different putting yeah. strokes and they can they can all put the ball in the hole yeah. at the end of the day that's what it's all about absolutely. so um, yeah so pretty interesting so I'd like to try you in the bigger head now okay all right and I would potentially look at putting you maybe in a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, in the shaft length, just to see what we get from that. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, so now we're going to look at the, the Mez Max putter. So this is a slightly bigger head size, which is going to encourage um, a little bit more MOI, so moment of inertia, so trying to reduce the twisting of the face. Uh, a little bit more... Um, technology in here so we've got a different color obviously first of all we've got a sort of a gray um, metallic sort of look to it same sight line one line but we have a slightly different shaft in here so we've got an acra shaft okay mm -hmm. which is engineered by uh, by lab golf in these putters which is nice it stands out it's bright it's white it's pretty cool um, it's a little bit lighter and then we've got a slightly different grip on here the texture uh, is a rougher texture here same thickness um, so yeah that stayed the same but yeah the, the introduction of these graphite shafts is becoming a, a quite a big thing in the golf industry now in the putter industry so um, what it does is it, it dampens the feel a little bit um, it reduces vibrations through the shaft um, and then it also again helps with the torque, the twisting of the putter so something that we are seeing a lot more golfers uh, interested in. Uh, yeah. So yeah we're going a little bit longer in shaft length so we're going up to 35. Was that a good putt? No, but it went in. Yeah. I it's nice. I think if you are gaming one of these on the practice putting green, you are going to have to hold a few, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> it was like when white golf trousers became a thing. Yeah. You've got to play. You've got to play, yeah. You've yeah, got to be a player. Don't, don't go messing one up on the first tee. Again, that wasn't my best strike, no, it wasn't. but middle of the cup. Yeah. <laughs> that was really choppy. It was like poof. came off a bit faster that one, didn't it? Yeah, yeah a bit quicker off the face. But it, they all just. I think I've put about so I've hit six balls. I've probably had three different strokes in all, in a couple of each, you know. And but everyone's felt the same as it's come off the face. Yeah, Super. the speed of the ball off the face is is pretty good, isn't it? It's mega. Um, we've had that one going a little bit quicker previous one was really good pace that's kind of made it smoother Ooh. what happened there missed one <laughs> it's like being a good golfer <laughs> i think i think i prefer the smoother grip i'm just getting my hands a little bit sweaty on that and whilst that's a bit rougher mm -hmm. i thought that was a bit more tacky a bit more okay. tactile yeah yeah it's all a preference really yeah so, you know, with the grip side of things In. Okay, so nine out of ten again, yeah. and arguably the one that didn't go in 
bit more Could've, pace. Could have done, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think you put a couple of bad strokes in there. Oh yeah, without doubt, without doubt. Um, but we still saw unbelievable yeah. results in terms of you know percent. Again, the, the summary pretty similar yeah. to where we were at before. The tendency is a little bit better, and the time is a little bit higher this time. Yeah. So we're overall, we're we're a little bit on the higher side. Aim again. We are left, but with this time we are 2.4 degrees yeah. left. So we're slowly creeping towards a bit more of a, a, a square of face at yeah. dress. Half this time is, is is better, and it's a little bit more consistent. So we're 4.9 degrees to the left this time. All right. So we're seeing a slightly better um, path, um, and the face to path we are seeing still a very okay. very open face at the moment. So. Again, that's something that we have to see yeah. if you are going to continue yeah, yeah. to aim a little bit yeah. on the on the on the left. So strike this time varied more. Okay, yeah. so we got a bit more um, variance across the face, still fairly high, yeah. uh, and the putters this time uh, slightly more toe down, which yeah. is interesting as well. Um, so path direction, yeah, as you said, about five degrees to the left, and yeah. the arc is is pretty straight now, yeah. so we're not seeing any any arc in there. Face rotation is better, okay? So we're seeing um, a little bit more consistency of, of that, um, a higher percentage. We're still seeing a, a, a very open face relative to yep. path, okay? Um, but the relationship is, is getting better yeah. here, okay? Uh, the consistency is still a little bit on the low side. So we, on this time, we are slightly pushing it, yep. 0.5 deg uh, to, to degrees to the right, and then again, your, your, yep. your smoothness of your rotation is very good there, so happy with that. Uh, this is your launch characteristics, again, which pretty similar to the previous putter. Yep. So rise angle is, is where we were with the other other model. Yep. So uh, slightly on the up, 0.6 degrees. Yep. Um, slightly de-lofting the putter. Um, so our uh, predictive launch is now down yeah. 2.4. So we are launching the ball in a better window, yep. definitely. So the ball's not wanting to yep. jump off the face. It wants to hook the ground yep. better, you know. So, But we're still applying a little bit of, of predictive backspin yep. in there. So that's something I think that we would look at maybe with a setup change. When I look at you from yeah. a side-on view, your ball position is, is quite far forward. Keeping this bit more in the centre. Potentially, okay. yeah. And that might, again, help you or, or aid you with aiming yeah. a little bit better okay. the further left you get that ball the the, the easier it You're is to be... aim left so, yeah yeah again see lots of good good yeah. good things here with the with the launch characteristics right. so lots of green really consistent um then we're looking at the dynamics again a little bit better here so just consistency yeah. You've been pretty much in the middle of these every single time, yeah. each putter we've tested, even yours. So yeah. that's a really good strength of your of okay. your putting stroke, so your timing of your of your stroke. Um, and we're a little bit better now into impact time, and oh, we're, we're less as early. Uh, okay. And what difference is the one inch longer going to thirty five made? It's gonna it's, it's altered the way you set up to the, yeah. to the to the ball a little bit, and it's effectively changed. It's it's, a, it's changed your path a little bit. Okay. Okay, so when you get something longer, you would have thought that, yeah, the, the, the science of it would want to encourage the, 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 yeah. the putter to work more inside a little bit. Okay. I think just you set up to it look better. Okay. You look like your eye line was yeah. in a better place. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, it, it changed the, the plane of the putter, yeah. which we'll see in a minute. So the plane now is, again, it's tilted a little bit more upright, and for you, um, that, that's a very, very good thing. It, it, it just allows you to bring that putter back, square yeah. at impact. Okay. Yeah. So the the swing direction, yeah, still to the left. Yeah. Vertical arc is reduced a little bit. I mean, I'm kind of glad they've all been to the left. That's my natural tendency. So I'm not trying to sort of fix it here. We're working with what I've got. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. look at those numbers. They're great. So that's the highest I've seen so far today. So effectively, the the the, sh the, the shaft or the putter, he wants. He wants to swing on a slightly more vertical plane for you with a longer yep. shaft um, and, and the design of the putter there. So really good. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Yeah. I, I really like that. Yeah. Um, I think both work really well. Yep. I think the slightly bigger head size. Yeah. It's a preference, obviously, to what you like the look of, yep. but it, what it's going to aid is a little bit improvement yep. in terms of stride. Yep. You know, if you do hit it yep. a bit lower or high or heel or toe, it's going to reduce the twisting yep. a little bit. What did you feel about the shaft? I liked it. Okay. it. I thought it just, I didn't 
feel like I lost any feel off the face. Okay. Um, a little bit softer, you use the phrase, it's going to dampen it a little bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's got to be, like you said, we had the trend of the big grips. This is the way it's going. Yeah. Liked it. It's, 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 it's busy. It's got a lot going on, but yeah. that's never stopped me in the past. You used, saw those old Ian Poulter trousers they used to buy a few guys back in the day. Yeah. Um, no, I like that. Do you think we've got a winner there? Potentially, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think we're, we're definitely heading in the right direction. Okay, great. I think it's all about confidence, isn't it, this, yeah. this, this part of the game? Yeah. So, and I could see... You look more stable. I didn't even definitely. feel like I was like, like I, was I was trying to go through my routine and, routine and come back. Yeah, yeah. And it's just drop one down. Bang, drop, bang, yeah, bang, bang, yeah. bang. Yeah. Bit on yeah. an automatic pilot. Yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a really good option okay. to, con to, to consider. Um, I'd like to just try one other. Yep. Yeah. Okay, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. All right. I'm going to keep it with the mallet style. Yeah. We're going to try the, the big daddy. Go for the big boy, yeah? yeah. Okay. okay. See what we get. Just, just as a bit of an experiment. Yeah, nice. Yeah? Do it. Okay. Perfect. Brilliant. Let's see what we get. So, really interesting so far. The lab putters have been amazing. I like the first one, I like the Max one even better. Liam's pulled a bit of a, a joker out on me here, or is it? But I mean, just check out the size of this. But I did say I'd come with an open mind, so let's see what this can do. This device makes it a little bit trickier to get used to. Yeah, it adds a bit of weight, yeah. so it does. That was out of the toe. Middle of the hole. What have you done to me, man? So stable. Good put that. Very good stroke. It's down, not really lining it up. This is a serious contender. I can't I can't believe I'm saying it. Just the pace, wasn't the best back yeah. spin, it? Yeah, just pace again, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, just the speed, I'm just doing that, I'm not even... It's like you're a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever said that about my golf before. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A wobbly one. I fell off that one, right. I've got a fairly smoother grip. Okay, wow. two more. Blimey. I hope these come with really cool head covers. They're big. <laughs> it's going to need to be. It's going to need its own section in the bag. Won't even need its own bag. Okay, okay. so nine out of ten again. With wow. With three putters, which is unbelievable to be fair, Paul. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the styles are so alien to what I'm used to. I mean, if yeah. I'll do a video of a minute of looking down at one. The shaft's coming out at an angle. The grip's black and white like Gary plays trousers back in the day. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a bit of night fever. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Pretty similar, again, to the previous two models. Yep. Consistency's down a little bit, though. Really? Okay. okay. Yeah. Still aiming left. Yeah. Okay, so 2.7 degrees close. And opening face change is 3.5 degrees open. So yeah. we're going to come in with a slightly open face again at impact. So 0 0.8 degrees open. A little bit less consistent, okay, with the, with the, with the face at impact this time. Um, the path is slightly improved. So we're 4.8 degrees left this time. Um, the ball direction, however, is very, very good. Yeah. So we're 0 0.1. So the tightest, the, the best we've seen, essentially. Ball direction bit better here yeah. so path again still slightly you know on the short side of the ratio of the back swing to forward swing which we've seen throughout the whole yep. uh, fitting really so that's something that you do as a golfer but you're very consistent at doing yeah. it I'm a sure six mm. handicap but I am going to be inconsistent yeah you know we need we need the, the magic where we can get absolutely. it absolutely this putter for me reminds me of a ping crazy e <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah which again um a lot of people used it back in the day, and a lot of people used in a in a broom handle, which yep. you do see a lot of these in broom handles as well. So very very high in MOI, so reducing the twisting of, of, yep. of, of the of the of the face. Um, so yeah, uh, let's have a look at the next page. So our face rotation 
again it's pretty good here quite nice consistent numbers all in the green um, slight push again which is what we, we've generally seen yep. throughout the fitting uh, open face relative to path um, but again 70% on that's pretty good and um, then this is the interesting one here so okay. now rise angle again is slightly come down to well, 0.4 and interestingly, on a couple of these, yeah. the low point of the stroke was past the golf ball. So okay. first one. So hitting down on it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Slightly hitting down on that first one, slightly hitting down on the last two, but again, ball's gone in the hole, ball's yeah. gone in with pretty consistent speed. Yeah. So de-lofting it more yeah. this time with this style, uh, effectively changing our predictive launch to be a little bit lower, but we have now got a spin coming out a bit more neutral. Yeah. So the ball's wanting to roll better off the yeah. face, okay? Yeah. Which is gonna give you better speed. Yeah. Um, obviously when you're hitting that longer yeah. butt to the hole, it's gonna help with that as well. Um, so yeah, everything's slightly down here yeah. a little bit. So, but we're very close, you know, yeah. 73, 69, 62, 67. So not too bad. And then we look at the dynamics again, which is, is, is a good, really good strong part of your button stroke, Paul, to be fair. Um, you, you, your timing is very, very good. Okay. All right. Um, and we'll look at this one again. So tilt is still, again, angles a little bit, uh, a bit more vertical now. Yeah. All right. Um, and the low point has changed a little bit here with that putter. But yeah, pretty good with that happy and then these numbers have been again very very good so the only thing i see there is the shaft impact it, it varied a little bit yeah uh, in terms of you sometimes delivered it slightly on the down and then sometimes a little bit more on the up so yeah. i think yeah i wouldn't read too much into it yeah. but from a results point of view we can't argue again at nine out of ten in the hole I mean, so i mean i think it's, it's got to be between these two hasn't it i agree it? yeah i agree and what would your what would your scientific opinion be, Doctor? Um, I, I personally think, yeah, this, yeah, this is the way to go. Yeah, it's it's obviously very different from what you've got and what yeah. you've had in the past. So it will take a little bit of getting used to. I do like the fact that it's got this big white line yeah. here, it's sort of a T line, which is going to help you with with aiming. Yeah. Um, you do have a tendency to sometimes get a little bit loopy yeah. in the backstroke, which again, something that that's yeah. going to help you with. Uh, it's going to reduce that feeling or that with that you know that putter wanting yeah. to stray a little bit. Um, yeah, it's. It's, it, it just works. It's just it's just so forgiving. Yeah, I mean, I think the numbers were slightly better with that, I but I found that so easy to hit. Mm -hmm. And I it's agree. interesting because shelf appeal. I came in this morning. I was like, "What is that?" Mm -hmm. And I think that's the one I'm going to be taking home tonight. I agree. Excellent, I Liam. Agree. Thank you very much. You're welcome, pleasure. Thanks that was brilliant. In. What a great setup this is here at Scottsdale. And I put a fitting like that is just unbelievable. It takes an hour, just over an hour. You've got Liam and his colleagues, experts in this field. My two putters I've had, one of those for over 10 years, completely the wrong putter for me. Wouldn't have thought of picking it up off the shelf. Can't wait to put it into action. I'm turning off at 2.03 this afternoon. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a like. If you really enjoyed it, tell your friends and give us a subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the golf show. Cheers, mate. That was mega. Pleasure. That's mega. Can't wait to get this out on the course. Huge thank you to Liam and the team at Scottsdale. What a fantastic fitting that was. Liam's actually fitted me in the 35 inch with the black Acra shaft and we've changed the lie angle from 69 to 70 degrees. That's how precise these fittings are. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.